Hey, good afternoon. This is Kyle, and you're watching Rakasan Playing with Fire. It's been a couple of weeks since I put up a video, so I'm pretty excited to be back in front of the camera. I have uh, some stuff that I got from Inferno Candy Company. This is going to be the first challenge from them that I do. It's the Brian Ams edition of the Dorhitos. Uh, I don't know that there's necessarily a challenge with it. I am going to probably do a five minute afterburn after I get done eating them. You can see that it's still closed and sealed up. Uh, it's got Carol. Uh, I can't even read it. I can't read the ingredients. I'm sorry, I don't have my glasses. But uh, I'm going to open this up and we'll get started. Perhaps. Okay. They, uh, <laughs> They are very heavily coated. They smell pretty good. Alright, so let's get started. Excellent flavor, excellent crunch. everybody had a good week and you're having a good Saturday. Let me know in the comments what you're doing today. starting to come up just a little bit. I just notice it's there probably close to a one. I don't know if you can see this or not, but man, it's got a lot of coating on it. Kind of like uh, Doritos with a uh, on steroids with the covering, but they are fantastic.
starting to break a little sweat out, but I did just get out of the shower about 10 minutes ago, so. some of these crumbs on the chips. a lot more uh, Dorjitos than I expected to be in this bag.
Okay. All right. Uh, those were awesome. Excellent chips. Well, here we go. I'm going to start a five minute afterburn and, you know, if you guys have any suggestions for challenges, uh, let me know. I have a few yet that are on the shelf and in line to go, but uh, you know I'm always open for other suggestions. <coughs> oh. And like I said, I hope y'all are having a great weekend. Uh, I don't know what plans you have, but make it a good one. Why are you laughing at me? Excuse me. So apparently my buddy Warrior got a little bit of a chip and ate it. I don't think we had to worry too much. It wasn't super hot, so I think it'll be all right, but I guess we'll find out in a few hours. <laughs> oh, so. Hmm. All right. Got about three and a half minutes to go. Uh, I'm going to. I will post a link to Inferno Candy Company on the description of this video. They have got a great selection of hot stuff, hot treats, uh, everything from uh, the Dorjitos to several challenge things. I do have a special challenge item from them coming up. It'll probably be two weeks before I do it. Uh, but I am looking forward to that, and I hope that you all will stay tuned for that one coming out. It's going to be interesting. Uh, hmm. What else do I have for you this morning? I've got a bunch of hot sauce that I uh, am going to be reviewing. I'll post those uh videos out there as well and I want to give a shout out to my friend Stephen Pulley of Pulley Hot Sauces his Montana Gold hot sauce was picked up by Fuego Box so I'm really excited for him and excited for those of you that have never tried it to possibly go there and order it as well so congratulations Stephen I really am happy for you and proud of you Uh, and as far as Lone Star Crew, I'm going to call you out if you haven't done the uh, Dorjitos Challenge yet. Party of Two, same thing. Uh, Dorjitos, I've got a bag of the firecrackers that I'll probably be doing a little bit later, maybe sometime next week. Uh, I also have the Death Nut version 3 sitting on my shelf. I'm just waiting to see if I can find somebody that would like to join me doing that. Uh, there are enough peanuts in that thing for up to three people to do the challenge. So I'm looking forward to hitting that one too. Uh, man, hope the weather's good where you're at. It's been kind of rainy here in Kansas. Got just a little over a minute left. You know, and like I try to end all of my videos with, I do this to bring awareness to veterans with mental illness and veteran suicide. You know, if you know a veteran that's struggling, please tell them to reach out for help, whether it's to the VA or another veteran that they know. And those that are in crisis, please have them call the Veterans Crisis Line. It is imperative that they make that call. We have too many veterans committing suicide on a daily basis. Forget about annually. So 
please, if you know somebody that's a veteran or you know somebody that has a veteran in their life, let them know to reach out and ask for help. It is okay not to be okay. And we're at three, two, one. All right, well, we got this one done. It's in the books. I will uh, be back maybe later this week, but for now, I just want to make sure that you all have a great weekend. Continue to watch my videos, like, comment, subscribe, and share. And you all have a fantastic day. This is Kyle, and you just saw Rockasan playing with fire.